everyone, and welcome to our Adventure Worship Service. We are happy that you can join us this evening to worship with us. We know that there are many things that you could have been doing, but we're glad that you chose to be with us this evening. Thank you. We hope that you will be blessed as the adventurers minister to us. They will be ministering to us in song. They will be um, repeating their pledge and their law. And also we will be doing um, a little impromptu AB, AB quiz. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we worship together. We are going to start now with opening prayer by faith from the Malton SDA Adventure Club. Hello, my name is Faith Nevins. I am from Malton Seventh-day Adventist Church. I'll be saying the opening prayer. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes. The Heavenly Father, please help everybody learn how to be cheerful and that they'll bring the news about Jesus to other people and that they'll stay healthy and be really happy and then and they will be nice to other people in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening to my prayer. Adventure Pledge Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. Adventure Law Jesus can help me to be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Hi everyone, I'm Sister Joan Buchanan, the director for the Ottawa East Adventurers Club. I must give thanks and praises to our Lord and Savior who has kept us safe during this pandemic. It is indeed an unprecedented time and it's very difficult for our parents who has become teachers, babysitters and are working at home. So we have to give them a big thanks. Even though Adventures Club are not able to meet in person, we have been meeting virtually twice a month. We have also created a WhatsApp group. It's a quick and easy way to communicate with the parents. We had Zoom Adventures meeting twice every month and the children are invited sometimes invite their friends. We have visitors, regular visitors, and sometimes we have visitors as far as from the United States. During the adventure meetings, we, um, we did object lessons. We like Fruit of the Spirit, for example. We did the Colors of the Rainbow. We used different fruits as a demonstration, and we talk about how healthy it is for the children to eat fruits of different color. We also did the Book of Matthew, um, we play game quizzes from book and the children respond by raising their hands or using true and false signs. We also um, sing a lot of songs and play games, virtual games and real games, uh, 
scavenger hunt. So we have the children go search for things in their um, in their houses and bring them back to the screen. The um, the Adventures Club also participated in some of the conference activities. We had um, Quincy, one of our builders. He prayed and he also preached. We have Riza with Sunbeam. She prayed and she also preached. And and during the month of um, June, Yui is a busy bee, and he sang a, scene, a song for the seniors. All, all these um, recordings are still available on the YouTube, so we are able to go and see them again, and the children are also able to go and watch them. And during these times, we had people sending love messages from as far as Africa to, um, to greet the children while they were performing. We also participated in the 100 Days of Prayer. We, um, we used the general conference template and we had one of our parents modify the, 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 the template with prayers from the children and we sent them out every day on WhatsApp. It was also very good for the children to see the, each other's prayers and a way of keeping us uh, um, connected with each other. The children enjoyed the meeting online. They also, it was also an opportunity for them to meet with their friends and to greet them. At the end of the, um, the meetings, we would spend a few moments where the children would, you know, greet their friends and just to talk. Our club is also very, is growing. We have, uh, we had 10 new adventurers who were to be inducted in March prior to the closure of the church. And they have been attending the meetings and working on their, acti their activity books. However, we are still planning to have a, a Zoom induction soon, before the end of the year, hopefully. We, um, God gave us this knowledge to create these electronic platforms, such as Zoom and YouTube. And we never, in our wildest dream, would never think that they will be used as a method to spread the gospel throughout the world. As in Matthew 24, verse 14, it says, And the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the world to all nations, and then the end will come. This pandemic has been a very sad time. People have lost loved ones, and we are all staying social distancing. But we also take this opportunity to tell people about Jesus. And some people are using the time, are being a little bit more receptive to the words of God. So it's really an opportunity to, um, to spread the gospel. And it's so much easier for us to talk to people about G the coming of Jesus. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for watching and God bless you. My name is Horiki, and we'll be singing What a Day That Will Be.
Adventurer Club Biography The Adventurer Ministry was first started at Ruth SDA Church under the directorship of Mary McIntyre. Passionate about the Adventurer Ministry and the spiritual growth of the children in the church, she urged and garnered the support of the leadership and membership of the church. The club started with approximately 20 children ranging from eager beaver to the help with hand class and six dedicated staff members. Together, they became Ruth Explorers Adventure Club. The motto for the club was coined, you never know until you explore. The name and club logo design was developed by a friend of the club and its incoming director, Rosanna Bullock. In 2006, the directorship was passed on to Rosanna Bullock and the ministry grew in numbers. She served with love, enthusiasm, and purpose. Having a great love for the children and their families, she encouraged, empowered, and created opportunities for parents to take an active role in line with the parent and child policy of the ministry. She facilitated and she facilitated and emphasized the need for having good pay relationships, understanding God through nature and his creation and the importance of baptism. In 2008, the directorship was once again passed on to Marcia Room. She remains the current director and the ministry continues to grow with an enrollment of over 50 children in the last adventure year, ranging from the little lamb to the helping hand class. Marcia Rooms, a dedicated leader, believes no child should be left behind. And so she works tirelessly to ensure as many children in the church and in the community are given the opportunity to experience God's love through the Roots Explorers Adventure Ministry. Over the years, the club has ministered to many families within the church and in our community. We have participated and facilitated many activities to strengthen God and child, parent and child, child to child, and child and community relationships. Activities such as tobogganing, family retreats, family weekend camping, nature-centered field trips, visiting the Schlager Village nursing home, visiting sick, sick and shut in members, fly distribution, community drug marches, AY programs, March break vacation Bible school programs, and community prayer walk. During the months of COVID-19, as part of the outreach ministries, club families contacted the seniors weekly to check in on them. We have also, as a club, had Friday night's prayer sessions to stay connected and encourage each other. As we prepare for the new Adventure Club year, we will continue to meet on Zoom and WhatsApp weekly. We are also working on different virtual activities to keep our kids active, learning, and having fun. We continue to praise God for His many blessings, and we thank all who have contributed from beginning to now for the success of the club. Thank you very much. Thank us for the glory of God. Love all powers, love all kings, love all nations and all created things. Above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to mention what 
your work. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all the wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there is no way to mention what you're worth. Good evening. At this time, we will test how much uh, Neo and Ethan, they are from uh, Mount Zion. Let's see how, how much they know about the book of uh, Matthew, which will be our book for our virtual adventure Bible experience, which will happen on November 14th. Of course, more details will follow. Uh, it will be posted later on. But uh, please note that um, this is a review and doesn't mean that it's uh it will be the actual format that will happen during the event so uh ethan and neo are you guys ready yeah okay so i will uh show the question and then once you answer i'll show the correct answer and uh we'll go from there we will have 12 questions okay so let's start Question number one, true or false? According to Matthew 4 verse 1, Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. True. 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 Very good. Question number two. Fill in the blank. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take blank that no one blank you. Take heed that no one deceives you. Okay. Heed and deceives. Very good. Question number three. True or false? According to Matthew 3, 4, John was clothed in camel skin. Uh, I'm going to say False? False. It's actually true. Okay. okay, question number four. According to Matthew 8, 1, when Jesus came down from the mountain, who followed him? Uh, a great multitude. A great multitude? Great multitudes. Very good. Uh, question number five. According to Matthew 10, verse 1, who was the tax collector? Was 
I'm going to guess Matthew. Matthew. Matthew is correct. <laughs> Fill in the blank. According to Matthew 9, verse 25, he said to them, Make blank for the girl. Sorry. He said to them, Make blank for the girl is not blank, but blank. It's like make something where the girl is not dead but sleep. Okay, let's see. Make room for a dead is it's not it's, ah I can't I can't remember. What's the question again? But sleep. Okay, very good. So you got two of that, two out of three. Seven. Matthew, according to Matthew 8, verse 25, who said these words? Lord, save us. We are perishing. Uh, his disciples? Disciples. Very good. <laughs> according to Matthew 19, verse 22, who went away sorrowful? Um. No. Nope. Okay. It's the young man. Okay. Question number nine. In Matthew 16, verse 1, who asked Jesus to show them a sign from heaven? Um, Pharisees and another group of people okay who's that group of people okay it's pharisees and sadducees okay question number 10 according to matthew 15 verse 21 which region did jesus depart to um tyre and sidon okay Tire and Sidon, very good. Number 11. Very good. According to Matthew 14 29, who walked on water? Eat a rabbit. <laughs> it's true, it's Peter Rabbit. Is that your final answer? Yes, Peter. Yes, Peter. Okay. Okay. Question number 12. According to Matthew 25, verse 4, fill in the blank. But the blank took blank in their vessels with their blank. Wise brave tiger. Um, the wise took oil in their vessels. With their lamp. With their lamp. Okay. Wise oil lamp. Very good. Very good, guys. Thank you for for doing this. So again, um, thank you for the time, uh, Ethan and Neo. And just a reminder for everyone, our virtual ABE will be on November 14th. So I encourage all Adventure Club to continue studying and reviewing the book of Matthew. So see you guys there. Thanks. See you. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, parents, for working with your adventures so that they could present to us tonight. We hope that God will continue to direct you and continue to lead your children to him. Adventurers, thank you so much for willingly sharing your talents with us. We were blessed tonight. So I just wanna thank the Malton Adventurers, the Ruth Adventurers, St. Catherine's Adventurers, Mount Zion Adventurers, College Park Adventurers, Barry Adventurers, and Ottawa East Adventurers. Thank you so much for this wonderful program. 
I want to thank the leadership team for working and preparing this um, worship service so that we could be blessed. May God continue to direct you. I, I thank all of you for watching online tonight. And we ask that you join us again next Friday evening at 7.30 as we worship again. Happy Sabbath and God bless. My name is Jaden O'Neill Nelson. I am from Eager Beaver. And we'll be doing a prayer today. Let's pray. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything. Please bless to be thankful. Watch over us, do everything just like this. I hope you will help us. Amen.